subject that is energy auditing and demand side management so under under this energy auditing and demand side management this is the syllabus of your first unit that is upon energy situations under that situations what about the situation in this world and the india what about that that means what about the consumption of power what is the production and what is the conservation and what are the different types of the codes standards and the legislation this depends upon the what is the energy situation you know, in india and then uh, go to the energy audit under this what are the types of the audits and under the type of the audit what are the different uh, pie charts and sanki diagrams and their load profiles about the peak load uh, base load like different load profiles and energy conservation schemes and the measurements of energy audits and the presentation of the energy audit results so these about your unit one syllabus that means the total syllabus of your first unit so this uh, total energy auditing will be mainly the theory subject so in this when you go about the introduction so what is the main situation of your india is generally uh, we know that uh, the major input for the economic development of any country so the one is the energy so energy is the major input of the development of country so in this case of developing countries uh this energy assumes critical importance in view of every increasing needs are uh, requiring huge investment to meet them that means here the consumption of energy is uh, increasing at a fast pace while availing re resources may remain limited so um, whatever the consumption is whatever you are using will be it will be more but comparing to the available resources will be limited that means uh, we all know that there is a uh, conventional sources and uh, uh, renewable energy sources and non renewable sources must be there whatever the growth of this will be more will be comparatively uh, the consumption will be fast but the available resources must be limiting so the global need for energy increasing on an average by about 1.5% every year so every year the uh, the increasing of the need of the energy will be it will be more that means 1.5 percent above its every year so out of the total amount of the uh, primary energy around 80 percent come from the fossil fuels and the current this fossil fuels will be particularly oil is uh, sustainable in the long time that means here whatever you observe that uh, we the energy is the major input from that the major input of the energy the increasing the energy is increasing the consumption of the energy is increasing very fast while uh, available sources must be remaining so that means the whatever the available sources the amount of energy is uh, uh, out of the total amount of primary energy around 80 percent comes to the fossil fuels so, so the current consumption of the fossil fuels particularly uh, that means oil is not sustainable in the long term so this energy consumption has a significant impact on our natural environment so that this climatic changes is caused by human activity mostly related to the this use of energy so basically this energy will be classified as the several types based on the following all of you know that based of this is generally electricity production in india general how much of the electricity from 1985 onward how much of the electricity will be produced from it will be the graph will be from 2012 1985 to 2000 how much of the electricity will be produced in this india next how much of this energy generation how much of the con due to the conventional sources how much of the electricity will be generated so from 2009 to 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 12 to the up to 19 how much of the conventional sources will be generated due to the electricity generation due to the conventional sources there is a conventional sources and non conventional sources must be there that means renewable and non renewable sources must be there so due to the sources how much of the energy will be consumed and 
basically this energy will be classified as the several types so based upon the primary energy and the secondary energy and commercial and non commercial energy renewable and non renewable energy sources so this uh, whatever going to the primary and the secondary energy sources this primary energy relay, uh, refers to all types of energy extracted or captured directly from natural sources that means this primary energy can be further divided into two distinct values that means there are renewable and non renewable what is renewable renewables are solar wind uh, geothermal tidal and biomass must be when you take the non renewable sources that is fossil fuels crude oils uh, coal natural gas uh, and the nuclear this must be some non renewable sources must be there so this primary will be subclassified as the renewable and non renewable sources so this primary energy contains uh, all fuels uh, generally uh, expressed in terms of ton, ton of oils and is based on the following conservation factor this so these primary sources are mostly converted in industrial utilities uh, um, into secondary energy sources for example when you take oil uh, or gas and coal whatever it will be converted into steam and the electricity so primary energy can also be used directly some energy sources have a non energy uses as so for example uh, when you take the coal and gas can be used as a feed stock in a fertilizer plants uh, primary energy this primary energy is transferred energy conversion process uh, to more convenient forms of energy such as electricity steam uh, these forms of energy are also called as secondary when you take this uh, as diagram here the extraction and the treatment gas well coal mine crude oil well and uranium so whatever the uh, processing must be there so here the from this gas well whatever the treatment will be obtained then it comes to the natural gas and then steam and it goes to the power so whatever the renewable and the non renewable sources must be there this primary energy can be used in the to whatever the uh, primary and the secondary whatever primary energy is converted to the industrial utilities into secondary energy so for example that means this coal whatever the gases must be there it converted into the steam and the electricity so this total part will be primary part and whatever the producers part will be in the secondary energy so the primary energy which gives that means the renewable and non renewable whatever it may be so sources must be there this will be converted in the form of the secondary there is the steam and the producer so under this part the primary and the secondary whatever the sources must be there this will, that will be converted will be the, that will be primary and whatever the energy you have to coming out that will be in the part of the secondary energy and then uh, what about the uh, commercial and non commercial energies generally so when you take that uh, generally available in the market uh, for a definite price will be commercial energy that means uh, if if uh, when um, what the method of energy production is whether it is a from fossil fuels nuclear or renewable sources any form of energy used for the commercial purpose consisting of the commercial energy so it will be in the form of some price when you find uh, um, the, uh, available in the market some with some of the price then it is called as the commercial point of commercial energy so that means the most important form of commercial energy or some electricity coal petroleum products or natural gases this energy forms uh, basis of on industrial agriculture transport and uh, it will be developed in the modern world also so here the industrialized countries commercial fuels are predominated sources of uh, energy not only for industrial use but also for many household uses uh, that means for example electricity point of view coal point of view natural we have to these are must be taken as a commercial energy that means whatever the energy will be available with the form of the price then it is called as a commercial energy 
the and another another thing is non commercial energy so non commercial energy is the any kind of energy which is sourced uh, uh, with the community as of surrounding area that means which are not normally traded in the commercial market that, that is called as non commercial energy that means non commercial sources are uh, like that uh, fire firewood the cattle dung agriculture waste uh, or uh, this, in this uh, ga traditionally gathered or used mostly mostly in the rural households those are for traditional fuels so this non commercial energy is ignored to the compelling if uh, energy statics that means suppose uh, for example firewood and uh, waste in rural area solar energy for water heating and uh, um, Electric, electricity generation and drying road, fish and fruits, animal power for trans, transport, water irrigation, crushing sugar cane, etc. These are come from the non-commercial energy. So, are you understand commercial or non-commercial? Commercial will be available for the price point of view. When you take the non-commercial energy, this non-commercial energy is obtained. due to the wastage of the product that is uh, cattle dung agriculture waste firewood these are called as non commercial energies and then you goes to we all know that that is the renewable energy sources and the non renewable energy sources so renewable energy sources whatever is there that is the uh, solar energy biomass energy wind energy hey these are nothing but the renewable energy when you take and in the form of the coal nuclear fossil fuels these are comes to the non renewable energy so renewable and the non renewable energy sources must be there so in the renewable energy sources uh, is the energy obtained by natural sources which are essential in exhaustible that means Uh, renewable sources including wind solar geothermal these are energy tidal hydro uh, these are these most features renewable energy will be harnessed without releasing of the harmful pollutions these renewable energy will not be release any harmful pollutions we are we all know that what about the solar what about the biomass what about the wind right? these are must be renewable when it goes to the non renewable energy sources this is the natural resources which cannot be produced uh, grown or replenished or used on a scale which can be sustained in a consumption rate these resources often exist in a fixed amount or uh, are consumed much faster than nature can be it will be can create them that means these natural resources such as coal oil and natural gas will be taken as the non renewable sources so renewable sources must be it is the non polluted uh, sources it will be comes through the in the form of the so, solar or wind whatever it may be due to the uh, renewable point of view it will become that is renewable non renewable sources must be there due to the it is the in the direct matter that means we does not use any kind of the heating process like that it will becomes like uh, so when you take the solar it will becomes direct radiation from the heat radiation you have to convert it to the heat energy in the form of electricity and electric energy like that you have to convert but non renewable sources from that uh, some coal when you have to heat that boil that coal and then uh, we get the steam and from that steam you get the electricity like that the difference of this renewable and non renewable sources so this are uh, this are uh, the three methods uh, one is the primary energy and the secondary energy sources and the primary uh, energy sources there are the whatever the resources must be in the primary point of view that from that primary will be uh, refers we have extracted and captured will be in the, the energy will be coming from that tree is called as the secondary energy and the commercial and non commercial sources commercial sources will will be available in this definite price and when you take the non commercial sources it is the uh, uh, kind of the that means the uh, uh, wastage of the products will be nothing but the non commercial energy sources like the renewable and the non renewable sources when you take the renewable energy sources renewable energy sources are uh, we get the direct heating uh, direct 
electricity that is nothing but the renewable when there is some fossil fuels then you get the it called as the non renewable sources so this this upon the what is the uh, different types of the energy sources must be there next going to this there is the global primary energy reservoirs and commercial energy reservoirs that means we all know that coal oil gas hydro thermal whatever the energy resources must be that these are called as global primary energy resources so what um, what about the coal hydro electricity renewable energy natural gas nuclear oil these are are the uh, total installed power generation what uh, capacity of the sources when you take this when you source of the coal what is the utility utility capacity and what is the percentage of this when you take the hydro how much of utility capacity side that renewable energy sources how much like that natural uh, nuclear oil how much of the utility capacity how much of the percentage you have to total installed power generation capacity must be there so like that we have to show like see that 